Round one, fire. Get over here! <laughs> Revolutionize police work and end pursuits as we know it. Maybe not, but we're going to talk about it. Introducing the grappler. This device goes on the front of your squad car and looks like an ordinary front bumper. Once activated, lowers a fork-like looking device from the front of the bumper, which then has an attached, which looks to be a toe strap. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm just looking at what it does and I have never tested this thing before. I'm not getting paid by the company to make this video. I'm just a fan of the product and the idea behind it. And I'll tell you why. Flashback to Nick circa the street crimes days when our unit's days off got changed in order to address a stolen vehicle problem in a specific area. Nick gets behind a vehicle that happens to be stolen on the first night out and proceeds to call it out to his units. The vehicle then blows a tire and proceeds to drive at a whopping 35 miles per hour. As the vehicle continued, I was left with not that many options. You see, my agency, along with a lot of other large agencies, have a limited chase policy. And what I mean by that is you are allowed to chase if there is a violent felony that occurred, um, including kidnapping, murder, robbery, something like that. Um, then you are allowed to pursue. And if it doesn't meet that criteria, well, in a lot of cases, you can't pursue. And even if you do pursue, the pursuit usually ends in a couple ways. Either the vehicle wrecks out or they give up. It'd be nice if they all gave up. Or they get away. The big problem that we have is when that first one happens that the vehicle crashes. If it crashes into another vehicle, crashes into pedestrians, so on and so forth, you can imagine there's a lot of risk to the reward. Now, enter this thing, the grappler. This is where it could alleviate that problem with everything that lies in between. So in my case, if the vehicle was doing 25, 30 miles an hour, I just proceed up to it at 40 miles an hour, deploy the grappler, get stuck in that back wheel well and attached to my vehicle, and boom, we have this stolen vehicle that's occupied with five subjects that were going around stealing cars, lasso to my car where we can do a proper felony stop. From, from here, it looks like that the distance that the car stopped and the belt, the length of it, um, is a good high risk uh, traffic stop distance. It's important. You don't want to be too close to a vehicle, especially if it's trying to flee from you. It's a felony vehicle. You don't know what kind of weaponry they have in there or how dangerous these subjects are. So it looks as though the belt has a long enough reach where you can conduct a high risk traffic stop at a safe distance. Not only that, once you deploy it, there is an option that you can disconnect the belt from your car. Then if it need be, you can hit reverse and retreat back. Let's say you're taking rounds or something. So it's another great feature that this grappler has. Now, I, I'm seeing a lot of positives. Again, I've never tested it, so I can't tell you everything behind it. I can tell you that when conducting a pit maneuver, you are spinning that vehicle out of control and there is a lot of room for error especially when you're traveling at a higher rate of speed and you hit that vehicle and you don't successfully uh, conduct a pit maneuver, you might knock that vehicle off track and shoot it in an opposite direction or a different direction than when it was going. There are again, pros and cons with everything. Um, the pit maneuver is an effective maneuver if you perform it properly, uh, but this here seems like something that is a solution to local agencies problem at the least. Highway Patrol, they're their own monster, so they're going to do what they do best, and they're going to stop those vehicles the way they know how to. But for local agencies, this is a very good option. I'm not saying that everybody in the police department should have one of these, but maybe like there's people that are specially trained with this vehicle, and there's one assigned to each shift just in case something happens. I'll give you another example. A vehicle is wanted in an armed robbery, and it's parked at a McDonald's. McDonald's, please don't sue me. Free marketing, if anything. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Don't sue me. Group of subjects in the vehicle, you know the moment you activate your lights, that car is gonna take off. So, before you can let it get up to any speed, uh, agencies that don't have a pit policy, 
they're gonna have to try to box it in or do some other method in order to stop that vehicle from going but i just told you it's an armed robbery vehicle and these occupants are obviously armed and dangerous so what is something that you can do you light up the vehicle it proceeds to take off you anticipate the takeoff you deploy the grappler boom no longer taken off again never tried this product out i just like what it does i see a value behind it i see how this thing can be incorporated into local law enforcement and bring a solution to something that these officers might encounter out in the street so comparing the two when you perform it there is a little bit of minor damage there to the rear bumper of the offending vehicle uh, i can imagine there might be a little bit of damage to the vehicle that's deploying the grappler but if you compare that to a pit maneuver there might be uh, extensive damage on both vehicles so i would think deploying the grappler would cause less damage final thoughts are i wish i would have had this i could have deployed the grappler numerous times while on shift i see it as a tool that can be used for officers i want to know your thoughts what do you guys think do you think this thing can revolutionize police work especially for those local agencies that don't have a pit policy maybe they can incorporate this to help them stop these car thieves anyone who runs just boom deploy the grappler and it's over with minimal damage so let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you like more videos like this where i can do reviews on police gear and things that are out there that are revolutionizing the police world let me know drop a comment down below make sure you catch the latest police vlogs out we just did a video with davy police we went on a patrol and did some awesome calls so make sure you check that out i'll see you when i see you and if i don't see you well then i'll see you no.